everyone. Welcome back to another tutorial. If you kindly hit that subscribe button to get this video a thumbs up and please share and like, I would really appreciate it. By popular demands, I had subscribers ask, how did I create the exploding plaque? So what I'm going to do in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the exploding planet. And I'm doing this um, by popular demands. The reason why I didn't do the actual tutorial on this, I only just did just the video, is that since I'm getting more um, views on the videos themselves than the tutorial. So I didn't know which direction I was going to take this channel so but I need you guys to watch those tutorials because they got the lowest views but the videos are doing pretty well this is the most um, watched video on my channel I get like maybe a hundred views maybe to three or four hundred views a day on this uh, particular um, particular video so I'm going to show you a uh, quick way how to create an exploding planet. Okay, um, the first thing I did, I created my scene. And I, I showed you on the last video how to create an image plane on your camera so I could create the space environment, which is on the perspective view camera. I showed you guys on the last uh, tutorial on how to do that. And then after that, I created two spheres. Sphere number one and sphere number two. Okay, let's go to the first sphere. I just dragged it here to my grid. Let me, um, let's just see what I got here. Okay, this is the the sphere but um, you can see that there's like some type of um, demolition some type of explosion going on here and this is what I'm going to explain to you so this video okay the first thing I did I had a Lambert sphere and then I put a texture on it okay then I put a bump map on it. And um, it's like I created like an ice planet. It's like an ice planet. Okay, then after that, I created the explosion on top of this planet. It's called the blast. So what I did was I went into Windows General Editor Advisor. Go there. Go to Examples. Explosions. I used the Blast Explosion. Uh, middle mouse click and I dragged it into my scene. And here you got the explosion. Let me show you how this explosion looks. I think I just showed it to you. There it is, right there. All right. And then another thing, what I did with this explosion, I went into the um, the shading, and I manipulated the colors, like made like a, a, a darker orange and a gray, and like a white, to give it like a gassy volcanic type of explosion. So you can do that by doing it in these two menus right here. You can manipulate the color. Okay, then after that, then I created another sphere. All right, this is sphere number two. Now, what we're going to get into is called the in cloth effect. In cloth effect is where you want to create like a demolition explosion. Like it's just something like, let's say if you have a giant rock that falls on a sheet of glass. 
and what I'm going to do I'm going to attach a video on how to create an in-cloth effect because there's a lot of steps on creating an in-cloth well it's not a lot of steps but it's a few steps so it'd be a little bit too much to go into detail in this tutorial so I'm just going to show you the basic way how I set it up in this tutorial <coughs> So on those on these two spheres, what I did was on the first one, I created the in cloth effect. Say create in cloth effect on this, on the first um, sphere. And then on the second one, I did what you call create a passive collider. So when this sphere, when the when this um, when the second sphere come in contact with the first sphere. It's going to create an. It's going to create like a demo. It's going to create like a an ex explosion. So let me give you just um, an example. See, it's already breaking up. So I think you got the idea of what's happening here. You can see that this um, this first sphere is breaking up into pieces as it comes in contact with the passive um, collider. Okay. So then once I got all this all set up, so what it's time to do now, I render all these frames I had like 2,000 frames that I rendered so I went into my render settings and I set everything up here I start the frame from 1 to 2,000 this is just an example here and then what you do is you create what you call a folder and then what you do is as you when you create your folder when you render all your frames all those images is going to be saved in that folder Okay, are you following me? Then what I did was after this, um, after Maya rendered all these images, then I jumped into my Sony Vega. And what I did was um, I imported all those images from that folder. Let me give you an example here. It's in my, it's in my um, G Drive videos click on videos let me see if I can find that folder star explodes that's where it is right here so you click on that images and this is where all those rendered images are so you click on this and then you hit what you call open sequence. Once you do that, then that um, entire, um, all those um, um, image sequence um, videos, I mean images, is imported into your, um, into your project media and then you just um, grab it and you pull it down to here and this is what you see here. Okay. Now that flash that you saw, some of you all probably use different video editing software, but I use Sony Vegas because it's very easy. I mean, it's very user friendly than After Effects or all those other complicated um, video editing software. So then also, I just want to show you something. There's like a, a flash before the actual big explosion. The way how I did that, I did this, I did all this in Sony Vegas. What I did was I went into the Sony Vegas has what you call uh, um, video event uh, visual effects plugins. They have like um, a whole lot of uh, it's like a video effects library. They have the um, the the color corrector, the balance. Um, they have the um, you can add so many different effects on on your video. So um, the one that I used was called the light flares. Okay, I'm not gonna click on it because I don't 
one of the best of this um, video that I already wanted to show you. So, but um, there are a lot of tutorials on Sony Vegas on YouTube, but this is what I use to um, edit the Exploding Planet for Maya. So, let me give you an example of the final render and the final editor here on Sony Vegas. I put my soundtracks and everything on here, the music, all that. On, um, I create like different layers. So, check this out. Exploding planet and all of this wire, and then you import it into Sony Vegas Pro video, video editing software. I hope you got something out of this video. And don't forget to subscribe and hit this, um, give this video a like and share this video. I would definitely, would very much appreciate it. And I hope you got something out this um, this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave it, leave it in the comments, guys, okay? Or girls, I mean, whoever watching this video. So, um, thank you, and have a blessed day.